Bitcoin is right now breaking above the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. This breakout is not confirmed yet, but this is actually the first sign of the bulls gaining market control again. We have seen this within the last 24 hours already, and I can already tell you I took actions on my trades, on my short hedge trade, but also on my high risk long position. So guys, stick around till the very end of this video if you don't want to miss out of that because I can already tell you the next big price move for Bitcoin is just around the corner. As you guys can already see, one of my long positions now in a total profit of $110,000 with a position size of 40 eight bitcoin as you guys know of this trade the top one you can see here with the 48 bitcoin size we already took around two hundred thousand dollars of this trade in profits over the last couple of days over and over again and that's why i actually now decided to scale this trade up massively because pretty much I can already put my stop loss in a profit as you just saw with this high risk position. I have my stop loss in profit, so there's no risk involved. But still, now let's take a look at the charts and let's um, find out how big the likelihood is of Bitcoin actually now confirming this breakout, breaking to the upside and finally reaching prices of $50,000 and beyond. As always, guys, if you enjoy the content, please smash up a like. Every single video of mine reaches 1,000 likes at the moment. So let's try to reach them here as well. And besides that, don't forget to subscribe, activate the bell next to the subscription button so you don't miss out on any future uploads and also leave a comment down below. Guys, I, I cannot believe the positive support I'm getting within the last couple of days and weeks. Thank you very much for that. You're for sure one of the most amazing crypto communities on YouTube. Now let's take a look on what has happened. Guys, as you remember, we were talking about yesterday where I again opened a short hedge position that Bitcoin probably will fall once again all the way down to our very important daily support of the $44,000 to the $45,000 level. That also happened, as you guys can already see, we saw a beautiful wick all the way down to the $45,000 level. But what we have seen and from that moment on, I got highly interested in the next 24 hours pretty much for Bitcoin because what we've seen, and I have to go to the smaller time frames now, is that Bitcoin actually bounced even before the $45,000 level. As you guys can see, Bitcoin, the Bitcoin bulls managed to push the price up before the bears were even able to reach into this very important support zone. Or let's take also a look at the breakout target of the M pattern. Just taking a look here at the, at the breakout target of the M pattern as well that I showed you in my yesterday's video. I mean, even if we're looking at that, you can already see that Bitcoin didn't even manage to reach its bearish price target from the M pattern we were talking about yesterday. Yes, it almost reached it. There's only like a $200 difference. But guys, this $200 difference shows us, shows us that the bulls are actually trying to get back into market control. And what we have seen now is that actually Bitcoin, after the bulls got a little bit more bullish again, and we've seen this, this is actually the first time where Bitcoin managed to close four hourly candles right below the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. Because before that, as you guys can see, we wicked above it, but we never really closed a, daily, a four hourly candle really close to the 0.618. They always only wicked against this resistance. And the most amazing thing is that actually now this new four hourly candle completely pumped above the 0 0.618. We have to keep one thing in mind, this four hourly candle will still be open or will still remain open for the next three hours. So as long as Bitcoin um, is not uh, falling below the 0 0.618 again within the next three hours, I will actually scale up also my long-term swing trade a little bit because like I just showed you guys, the big trade with 48 Bitcoin that I have open right now, we just have to keep in mind there that um, pretty much this long position cannot go into a loss. I really scaled it up very aggressively now because it was only $500,000 big at the end of the day because I already took like $200,000 of profit within the last couple of days of that trade. As you remember, the, 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 the little bit of a riskier trade, not the swing trade, it was 36 Bitcoin big. And then in my yesterday's video, it was only 12 Bitcoin big anymore because I already closed two thirds of that long um, and took around $200,000 in profit. And now I'd actually decided to say, okay, let's risk this position. This position is anyways relatively small. Let's uh, scale it up massively and relatively aggressively. My entry point of this position is now at the $44,000 level. So right below our very important daily support, I put my stop loss in the profit. So this long position now either 
uh, gives us access with the next pump to major gains to multi hundred thousand dollar gains actually or if we fall to the downside this long position already bro brought us two hundred thousand dollars in profit and we cannot lose anymore which is also the reason why I am still keeping open my short hedge position, guys. I haven't closed my short hedge position just because, like I just said, the four hourly candle right now pumped very aggressively above it, got sold off relatively fast. And right now, we still need to wait for a four hourly candle to close above before we can really turn bullish once again here for Bitcoin and also expect Bitcoin to pump to the upside because as you guys can already see, we are also forming here somewhat, somewhat of a W pattern as you guys can see. And this W pattern um, also breaks out with the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. This is pretty much here the neckline as you guys can see. It has already been broken to the upside. And if we're looking here at the price target, I mean, this will just be, this will just be amazing. Looking at the price target of this, this M pattern, I mean, we are, we would pump well above the 48,000 and either in the direction of the $49,000 level. But guys, this is not confirmed yet. We need to wait for the four hourly candle close. And as you guys know, even then I will not scale up my long positions to the maximum potential yet. Just because also in the past, when a candle closed above it, Sometimes on the retest, right? The retest is always very important. We normally don't even scale trades up before we see the retest. But since we are squeezing since a couple of days now already, I think that it's um, not unlikely that maybe the next big price move will happen without a retest just because, like I said, within the last uh, couple of, of, of days, we have just we're just coiling up, right? The Bitcoin bulls are not in control. The bears are not in control. Everybody is asking themselves, what is the big big next price move? So the next price move could be so explosive that we don't even see a retest. And this is why I'm actually right now already, um, uh, I'm already going to scale up my long position a little bit as soon as the four hourly candle closes above it. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, smash up a like. Let's reach 1,000 likes. Don't forget to subscribe. Activate the bell and keep an eye on the Bitcoin price right now, guys, the 0.618. We don't want to close a four hourly candle anymore below the $46,700 level, guys. The $46,700 level, we don't want to close a four hourly candle above, below that. And if this is not happening, guys, it's time to scale up the longs, at least in my opinion. No financial advice here. I'm just telling you what I'm going to do. But guys, we're going to see us in the next video. Till then, bye, bye.